You're watching Iowa Live on CW Iowa 23. Good morning, everyone. It is 740 right now. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here with a friend of ours joining us in studio. Yeah, Cynthia Lech is joining us and continuing to educate us this morning, mm -hmm. especially when we're talking about the subject matter of probate. So thank you so much for being here oh. today. Uh, take us through probate. What exactly are we talking about and what can we learn? Today? Yeah, what is it? That, yeah. Thank you very much. A lot of people have questions about what probate is because you hear a lot about we need to avoid that. So let's figure out what it is before we decide whether or not it's something mm -hmm. we need to avoid. Sounds and, good. And probate is the, it's that public process after someone has died that is used, which involves the court system, to get your assets to whoever your beneficiaries are supposed to be and to make sure that your creditors have the opportunity to make a claim so that if you owe them some money they have a, a system in place so that they can make their claim and get paid. Okay. okay. So probate involves the court system though and so not everybody needs to go through the probate process and um, you know, people should get some education on whether or not that's right for them. So no, is that why people are saying we don't want to, we don't want probate or things like that? They're wanting to avoid the court system, or you need to know whether or not you need to make those proper procedures. Well, generally, I would say it, probate is a very public process, and so if you have private information, if you want your information to be kept private, right. who your beneficiaries are, what right. money, what assets you had, then yes, you would want to avoid the probate process. Okay. So you want to make sure everything is taken care of well ahead of time. Yes. Okay. And well, yes, you do want to make sure everything is taken care of well ahead of time. But what does that mean? What everything is taken care of? Right. So, um, so that's that's where the mystery comes in about probate. How do you take care of things so that you don't have to go through probate? Or is that even a big deal for you? Maybe it's not a big deal and you're okay with going through probate. All right. So how do, how do we go through the process then? So. Um, um, one of the questions that I get about probate is, well, it takes a long time, and so therefore I need to avoid probate. And it's true that it does take a while to get through that process. Typically, it's anywhere from a year to a year and a half to get through the probate process. And that just has to do with different waiting periods that there are along the way. Okay. And so, um, so if you don't have to go through the probate process, then perhaps your beneficiaries can get their money or their sooner. assets sooner. Okay. So that's one reason why people might want to avoid pro probate is it's less... Um, involved and takes less time. Okay, okay. So, so what's all involved in that? Do you have to take an inventory or what do you have to um, do? Yes, after you, if you're going through the probate process because you have a trigger, something that says, oh, we require the court system to, mm -hmm. to get us where we need to go, right. then, um, then the person who is named the person to be it, the it person who is the executor, they um, have to file an inventory with the court. The inventory has on the front page the names, addresses, and relationship to you of everyone who is going to be getting something, whether it's a probate asset or not a probate asset, like you've already said, oh, I, here's who I want to have my life insurance, or here's who I want to have my bank account. Mm -hmm. um, you've told the bank who to give the money to. Even for those assets, their names are on that inventory. So that's very public and searchable online. You can go online now and just search and where can you find a list of people who are getting money in the probate records. Really? So privacy is one really big reason it's why you might reasons. to be avoiding um, avoiding probate, right. Okay, uh, any other big reasons why you might want to avoid it? Um, well, there's the cost factor. So if you have, um, there's a limit to how much attorneys can charge for do, doing this work. Okay. The, the, the law says we can only charge this much, per, and it's a percentage, okay. basically, of what your estate is worth. So if you have a very small estate, then you may have a difficult time finding an attorney who really wants to do that because there's a limit to how much they can charge. They, they can't make any money on it. They want to deal with it. Right. Yeah. 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 So, honest, yeah. So for the smaller estates, it's kind of important to figure out how to avoid probate. And then for the larger estates, since we're charging on a percentage basis often, maybe probate is quite expensive for you and you might want to save your heirs quite a lot of money by avoiding the probate process. So there's... Um, there's a range, probably I would say under two hundred thousand dollars. If your estate is worth under that, then um, you know the the cost factor is it an issue for you because you might not be able to find an attorney willing to do that work for you. If your estate is over six hundred thousand dollars, then you've accumulated quite you'll you'll incur quite a lot of fees for probate in the cost of um, having a, some sort of trust to avoid probate might be a better choice for you. What is a, a general uh, idea of how much uh, attorneys do charge for this, uh, for a general rule to give people an idea? The statutory limit is is basically 2% of the value 2%. of your estate. Okay. And that's what many attorneys just think of that as a commission and that's what they charge. Okay. All so. right, L let's talk about technology uh, and how that it hasn't really caught up with what's happening with the probate system. Well, the probate records 
um, are public records and always there have been forever people who search them. So if you're looking for a real really? estate investment, you might go to the probate records and see, you know, someone has died, do they have real estate? Let me look up that real estate. Yes, I might want to buy that. You'll contact the attorney before that that property goes on the market to see if you can get ahead of the game. Okay. So it's been, a, been a, a, a practice for a long time to search the probate records, but it used to be you'd have to come to the courthouse and look at, you know, people know who you are that, that's looking through the probate records. Now, you could just go online and you pay your, your service fee for the month and you can look at all the court records that there are. Really? And yes, yeah, so it's much more anonymous now and anybody can go in and mine those that data for information that they're looking for. Right, and you said mine the data, which means that they could find out who is supposed to be getting what, and yes. we're talking about identity, too. Yes, yeah, exactly. To That's that, too. that is exactly yeah. what we're looking for. If you were looking for a list of people who are getting money, you know, it's not a list of people. You have to do the work to create right. that list, but the information is but publicly it's available. available. Wow. Yes. So yeah, that might be something to keep it, keep that in mind. Yes. Yeah. So let's go back to the point. If people are saying, okay, yeah, I understand the reasons to avoid. Maybe I do want to. What do I need to make sure I have in place before it, this happens, so I don't have to go through? That probate? very much depends on your personal situation. If you okay. don't have an estate plan, the state has one for you. So if you don't have a will, the state will say who gets your money when you die. Right. But if you want to avoid probate, you have to manage your pro probate triggers, those things that would cause you to be in, in, in that system. And real estate is the biggest thing that would evolve, require, require you to go through probate. So if you have real estate, then what you want to do is contact an estate planning attorney and um, ask them, how can I avoid probate? And there are lots of different ways. Usually we use a trust and there are lots of different ways a trust can be used. So it's a very complicated answer, but talk to an estate planning So even attorney. if you have a will okay. and testament, you, you have to make sure that this, these play, uh, things are in place too? Yes, because a will is actually one of those things that we don't use unless you go through probate. Okay. So if you have wills and you don't want to go through probate, then those don't go together. Okay. You know, it's it's like if you have a motorcycle and four people in your family, you can't get there with the motorcycle. You right. have to have a, some other vehicle. So a will, we only use a will if we are going through probate. If you have wills okay. and we don't go through probate, we don't use your wills. They're just pretty documents that you never used. Really? Yes. Wow. I didn't know that. Uh, there's still a lot to learn, and we that's are, why we, we rely on some incredible attorneys to make sure right. we're going down the right path that we want, necessarily not only for us, but our family uh, in our future. So if we want to reach out with Letch Law Firm and uh, learn more about this, thank you for kind of breaking it down yeah, for us this morning. Yeah, it makes some sense out of this. Uh, sure. uh, how can we get in contact with you guys? Um, our office is in Grimes. We also have an office in Polk City. The one phone number will get you to both places. It's 515 nine eight six two eight one oh or you can go online our there's a contact us on our website and that's www.letchlawfirm.com all right have the information up on the screen right now phone number and then there is the website if this sounds like something you want to figure out uh i, I made a whole lot of sense to me this morning it opened up my eyes exactly you great we Thank appreciate you. you educating us uh letchlawfirm.com for more details i'm still going to try to figure Thank out how to get four much. people on a motorcycle that's, that's, <laughs> that's my deal here this morning thank you so much for being here thank you all right.